So we're gonna play a game. We're gonna do something fun today. We're Let's gonna play Never Have I Ever. Ooh! Oh, I love games. Yes. And if you have done it, you can raise your hand and I'm gonna ask you to maybe to expound on it. Okay. Sound Ooh. good? Yeah. Never have I ever played Candyman in the mirror. Mm -mm. You haven't done it? Come on. <laughs> exactly. What you think this is? No, you know, but I, I can't say, I, I have done Bloody Mary, mm -hmm. which was, you know, one of like the sort of mythologies that Bernard Rose's version of Candyman was based on. I've done that. I've done that. What happened? You, you know he's black, so he never shows up. Like you, you gotta you gotta call him six times for him to show up. Was he late? He was late. <laughs> Candyman. Candyman. Candyman! Candyman, Candyman. He ain't coming. I played it. When uh when I was in school once, they had like these um nice like scented candles and stuff like that, and I was dared. Uh, I... And if I did it, then I got a dollar, so I did it. Oh, okay. Nothing happened, okay, but good. it was very terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Candyman is something I never got because when I heard Jordan was gonna do a Candyman movie, I was like, oh, this must be cool because I thought Candyman was just this guy in some pink and white stripes that gives you candy. Like, they make it sound such a fun thing. Never have I ever encountered my doppelganger. Never. Yeah, no. <laughs> I hope not. You know, you I hope know. not. Yeah. You have. Yeah, we what was us. That? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, then Other than I that, have, yes. Okay. <laughs> I was always like compared to Jeffrey Owens from the Cosby show, the album. Yep. Like people I was a kid. I was like 18 years old and people were like, were you in the Cosby show? I'm not. What? He's, he could be my father. Exactly. Never have I gone downstairs when I heard a scary noise in my home. No, we don't do that. You don't do that. No, exactly. Don't do that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm trying to live. <laughs> You're trying to live. Yeah, we exactly. want to see you in some more movies. That's only in the movies. Exactly. <laughs> I think I've done that. <laughs> what did you find? I mean, I didn't find anything, thank goodness, but I was going down to make sure everything was locked. <laughs> you know, uh, that's not a good feeling. I was in college, I, my roommates found out that I just have the, the stupidest, unrealistic fear in the world of werewolves. So they were like, oh man, something's in the basement. So we went downstairs and my homeboy, who was my roommate, literally like turns like werewolf, and I literally ran upstairs. I closed the door. The other roommate was coming in. I was like, "What's happening?" I was like, "Tyrone's dead. He's like, oh my he, did a, he didn't make it. Let's get out of here." And he comes out of the basement like laughing, you know, laughing his butt off. But yeah, I've I've gone into the basement. Never have I ever threatened someone with a bat. If you want to get crazy, we can get crazy. Never have I ever. Yeah. Ooh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, I once, wait, no. I once I accidentally, baseball. like, I was playing with like a plastic bat once, and then like I was swinging it and it flew out of my hand and it hit somebody in the head. Oh my. Um, th that was by an accident, but there was no threatening involved. <laughs> I I've never ever used a bat. <laughs> ever, like even for a game? No. Okay. No. <laughs> I've used pretend bats, like a lightsaber. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Once my, my apartment was robbed mm -hmm. and I was terrified, I got home. I went to get my friend's bat just so I could sleep at night without being afraid. Yeah. And I was walking home and the cops stopped me. And here I am, a Negro with a bat mm -hmm. on the street. No, 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 no ball? Yes, but I can explain. What I'm trying to do is use it as a weapon. No, but wait, you don't understand. So it was, uh, it was a whole, it was a whole thing. A whole I thing. didn't threaten anybody, but yeah, you're black man's bat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wanted to ask you your blackest experience on set. Needing to lotion up these legs because I'm wearing short, all shorts every single day and swimming in a lake and all this stuff and like it was just like a lot of lotion and we were like, let's get the shea, let's get the shea.